Bosnian community and religious leaders are speaking out tonight. They are condemning any individual involved in terrorism. The announcement comes after six members of their community, including three in the St. Louis area, are charged with supporting the terrorist group ISIS. Fox 2 Shirley Washington is live in South St. Louis right now with more on why they're taking a stand right now. Shirley? Well, Mandy, these leaders say they want to send a clear message that they do not support terrorists, nor do they support anyone who support terrorism or terrorists in any form or fashion. Several members of the Bosnian community held a news conference this afternoon to underscore that point. Their denouncement comes after six members of the Bosnian community living in the U.S., three in the St. Louis area, were arrested by federal agents charged with conspiring to aid and aiding terrorists by delivering money and materials, including military uniforms and rifle scopes to persons who were fighting for ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Two, including one St. Louisan, are charged with conspiring to kill and maim persons in a foreign country. The crimes are said to have occurred in 2013 and 2014. Members of the Bosnia community and the Islamic Foundation of St. Louis say they are stunned by the news. We condemn any kind of terrorism, any kind of criminal activity, and we are a law abiding community and people. We believe in American legal system and we know that the authorities will do what they need to do. The action of three out of like thousands and thousands of Bosnians does not reflect what that community stands for or what the Muslim community here stands for or what the teachings of Islam are. Uh, members of the Bosnian community say they know the three suspects from our area, but they did not have any idea they were allegedly supporting terrorists in the Middle East. They are identified as Ramiz and Sadima Hasik, husband and wife who lived in St. Louis County, and former St. Louis and Abdullah Ramo Pizarra. Now, all of the suspects are in federal custody. Two are scheduled to appear in federal court here in St. Louis this week. Shirley Washington, Fox 2 News.